Gawag Kalinga Hope Ball is happening this coming Saturday at the Monte Carlo in Las Vegas. Tony Meloto, founder of Gawag Kalinga, is here. He will be there to uh, give us a talk. You know, every time you speak, it's so inspiring. Where does it come from? Uh, from my faith in God and in my country and in my people. Is there a, do you research in advance? Do you write your own script in, I mean, your speech in advance? Or do you pray before? Meron bang rituals? Well, my life is a prayer. And uh, I'm always uh, uh, charged up by all the inspiring people I meet in mm -hmm. L.A. or in Toronto, all over the world. You know, you just connect with the goodness in people and you bring out the best in everyone. Is that how you write songs, Jasmine? Because I know you also write songs. Some of the songs that are coming out in your album are, are yours, right? Yeah. Or is it all, all, all yours? Well, what I do in the studio when I get with the writer and the producer, first thing we do is we listen to the beat if we like it, and um, I go in with the writer and we talk about different concepts, whether it's something that I'm going through or something I've been through or something I want to talk about that I feel like nobody's touched yet. So that's basically what we do. We just brainstorm and really go in front of it. It's you amazing. Yeah, you should plan to write something about helping the poor, yeah. poverty, something inspired by Gawad Kalinga in the Philippines. But that's not that's just a question coming from me. We have a question here coming from one of your fans. Mm -hmm. uh, John is on the line. Hi, John. Hi. Magandang, uh, magandang hapon, Janelle and Jasmine and uh, Mr. Uh, over here, Gawad Kalinga. I just want to ask Jasmine, if she wasn't on... Uh, Showbiz, right? What would her? How would she make her living? And I have a big crush on her. I just wish her success in her life. And I'd like to hear her rap if she knows how. Thank you very much. You like to hear? Oh, what? I, yeah. If you, if she wants. He wants to hear your rap, something like that. But if you weren't in show business, what would you be doing? Um, what would I be doing? Um, to be honest, I always loved animals ever since I was I was little. So you'd so, be a vet? Yeah, I probably would think of being a vet. Uh huh. Yeah. And maybe uh, volunteer from time to time, uh, to your time to the Gawad Kalinga. Yeah. <laughs> During the break, we were talking about this, Tony. Um, Dylan, I, was, I, I interviewed him the first few years of when after this was launched, and he said that one of the difficulties was get, uh, in convincing the landowners to share their land. Is that still a problem? No, that's not a problem anymore because uh, what we have done is really countryside development and uh, land that did not have much value whenever you bring development it goes up in value right so you always create a win-win a situation for the poor and the rich for 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 landowners and the informal settlers because that's the way to be that's a development that that uh, follows the path of peace right and so the thing here is you just have to inspire people about a vision that we can really create abundance and sp prosperity for everyone if we just transcend our rivalries Right. And we can become one nation and one people. What about your thoughts on uh, critics saying, ah, sometimes they are sort of, uh, they, they don't fully believe in the cause because they think that the administrative fee or the percentage that you get for administrative uh, expenses is too high. What do you say to them? Well, the thing here is that this is not about fundraising. This is about nation building. And if people give something for the house, there's somebody who donates the land. The poor themselves donate their labor and we have so many volunteers who provide also professional services even the local government does the road system the water system so the one dollar that they give is you know has four four or five dollars added value right so we, we are here just to facilitate you know people to just uh, be able to work together because uh, the work of nation building you know, it's, it's not easy. Yeah, well said. That is why we would like to invite everyone to go to Las Vegas this coming Saturday. Gawad Kalinga Hope Ball. Thank you so much for sharing those, in, uh, those inspiring uh, thoughts with us today on the show. And Jasmine, we'll see you on Saturday. Definitely. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us today. We'll see you again tomorrow.